Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we implement Stripe Payment Gateway in Laravel 9. As you can see I have already created a notepad file right here on the desktop in which I have uh, defined all the necessary steps so that we can make this procedure simpler and easier to understand. So let's move to step number one which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project or we can use an existing project. So if you have Laravel globally installed you can simply use this command otherwise you have to use this command. So in my case, uh, in order to save some time, I have already created this project. Let me show you on the sublime side right here, Stripe 1. Uh, I have named it Stripe 1 because I already have a project named Stripe, uh, which I'm using for Hindi Urdu lecture. So that's why I'm using Stripe 1 for English. Okay. So let's move here and let me show you on the Git Bash side right here as well. Okay. Now let's move to step number two, which says that we need to uh, install Stripe via Composer. So I'm just going to copy this command and Let's just paste it right here. Okay. Hit enter. Now this is going to take some time. So I'm go just going to pause the video to save some time. Okay guys. So it's done. Now let's move to step number three, which says that we need to create a Stripe account. So just copy this one. Okay. You don't need, you don't need to stop the video and type everything. I will uh, share the notepad file with you. Okay. So just paste it right here and let's move to sign in. Okay. Because I want to register. I want I just want to show you the registration process. Okay. I already have an account. So yeah, let's move to sign up. If you don't want to do all this, you can simply access this link right here. Okay. So just put your email, full name, country and password. And that's it. You need to create an account. In my case, I'm using uh, United Arab Emirates. Reason being I'm located in Saudi Arabia and there is, uh, I cannot select Saudi right here. So that's why I'm using the nearest country, which is UAE. Okay, now let's move to the other side. Sorry, right here so that I can show you something. So let's move to sign in. So once you have an account, you will be redirected to dashboard. Okay, sorry for this slow internet. Sorry for that guys. Okay, now let's wait. Okay, now uh, once you have an account, you can simply move to developers right here and then you can move to API keys. Okay, and right here you can see publishable key and secret key. So I'm not, I'm just not going to hide this detail because this is just for testing purpose and I'm not going to use these details anywhere in my project. Okay, so yeah, just wanted to let you know that's what, that's what you need to do. Okay, let's move forward. Step number four, after creating a Stripe account, you will be able to get the test public and private key, which is equals to publishable and secret key. Okay, step number five, create a checkout controller. So ju I'm just going to copy this command. Okay, and let's move here. And let's just paste it. Okay. Hit enter. Okay. So we have our controller in place. Now what we need to do is step number six. We need to create the following route. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay. And let's move to sublime. Let's access web.php. Okay. And let's just paste it here. Just like that. Okay. So we will discuss these routes uh, in detail once we have our blade or let's say at least the method. Okay. Now let's move to notepad once again. Step number six, uh, sorry, seven. Go to checkout controller and paste the below code. So I'm just going to copy this code and copy this one. Let's move to checkout controller. So checkout controller right here. So I'm just going to remove everything. Control A and just paste everything just like that. Okay. So yeah. Uh, these are the two methods that we are going to use. Okay, let's discuss it now. So first of all, we have a route get checkout and using that, this specific route, we are hitting this specific method name is checkout. Let's move there. So once we are here, we can first of all, we need to define our Stripe secret. So I'm just going to move here and copy the Stripe secret key and I'm just going to paste it right here. Okay. Once you have that in, in place, you are going to get, in this case, we are doing it statically, the amount, etc. But in your case, you need to get the amount dynamically okay whatever it is so you need to get it and you should have a parameter right here okay so in this case we have an aesthetic amount amount equals to 100 and i'm uh, actually what i'm doing is uh, multiplying this 100 by this 100 so uh, i will tell you why i will show you with an example let's move forward payment intent then we have descriptions stripe test payment which says uh, which define itself right so it's a test payment so amount uh, i'm getting the amount from here currency is aed as i mentioned description payment from all about laravel payment method is card and then we are returning intent this one to right here this uh, actually blade which we don't have for now we are going to create it once we have everything right there uh, stripe is going to do its task uh, 
for which we have javascript and etc and we will see that in detail okay then uh, after that is done uh, we are successfully able to send the payment we are going to be redirected to this after payment method once everything is done and we will see this message so let's move forward step number eight create a new folder inside views name checkout and create a new file so let's do it right here views and i'm going to create a new folder and sorry not a file yeah let's do it check uh, out yeah so we have our folder right here now i'm going to create a new file and let's just copy everything from right here we have html here okay let's copy it okay till here copy paste and name it credit credit hyphen uh, card dot blade dot php okay which refers to this one right here so we are returning everything to checkout and then credit card makes sense right okay let's move forward okay after that we can simply test it so let's view the blade file right here so here simply we have some uh, let's say styling and javascript files after that we need to put our publishable key stripe publishable key right here so i'm just going to do that let's move here publishable key copied and let's just paste it here okay just like that okay once it is done uh, you can see the styling and then uh, as i said we are using static method so your total amount is 100 AED. that's why i'm using static method because we have defined this in a paragraph okay then we have a form and we are hitting the route that i told you before okay and in that we have enter your card detail we have card styling etc the actual card styling okay and then we have submit button and that's about it that's for the styling of the card which you are going to see now okay and that is related to stripe in you can use and play here and there as well but for that you need to dig deep okay let's move forward and i'm just going to run my project so let's do that php artisan serve hyphen hyphen port 80 80 just like that let's access our project right here okay and let's move to checkout blade so that you can see something okay check out and right here you can see all the details that's what we are getting from the stripe side okay so now uh, how are you going to test it i am i have provided the uh, let's say dummy details for this card which you can use we have uh, some other stuff like that as well but in this case one is enough so yeah i'm just going to put it right here so four two just like that and then I'm just going to change it to any other month and let's say 24 air which is here CVC let's say 1 2 3 testing 1 2 3 4 5 pay and right here you can see payment received thanks for using our services as I mentioned let me show you once everything is done we are going to redirect here and then stripe is going to redirect after payment right here you can show your message whatever you need okay okay let me show you the payments right here okay so this is the uh, one that is related to this video because i have used this one for the hindi urdu lecture which i just created before okay so right here you can see we have received the payment now let's discuss why i have defined this 100 and i'm doing multiplication by 100 why the reason being guys stripe is taking this 100 as this actually one let me show you with an example so i'm just going to comment this out okay and i'm just going to put 100 here and now let's see what we have okay let's move here and let's do a refresh to check out page so amount must be at least two dirhams that's why i was multiplying to make this actually one which stripe is country actually we are defining 100 but stripe is considering it as this one so the lowest payment should be two dirham that's why i did the multiplication so in any case let's say if you have amount if you are going to pay amount let's say 50 dirham so you are going to multiply it that uh, stripe will consider it like this five so that's why i'm multiplying it this five with hundred so that it makes it for 50 or whatever the let's say the value is okay so yeah that was the most relevant method that i came across okay so let me just show you another example if i just change it to let's say uh, instead of 100 if i change it to 200 you will see should work fine now as you can see so uh, ignore this for now and let's just proceed with two dirham payments so 42 
and then any month okay and then any year let's say 25 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 just like that pay payment received thanks for using our services let's do a refresh here sorry for the slow internet guys i'm really sorry okay so now you can see we have received two dhiram payments so i think now it makes sense for you guys as well so in any case if you don't want to use it like that you can simply use it like this okay so it's totally up to you and for more information you can always dig deep for the stripe payment documentation and yeah that's about it so yeah guys i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care